welcome back to the channel Wartech Military Aviation Enthusiasts. Today we're diving into a story that has intrigued aircraft fans for over 30 years. We're talking about the YF-23, a plane that despite being abandoned, continues to spark debates and fascination. What makes this aircraft so special? And why does it still capture the imagination of thousands? Buckle up as we explore the legacy of the YF-23 and its potential future in the skies. The YF-23 first soared into the sky on August 27, 1990. With its cutting-edge design, it was poised to revolutionize aerial combat. But as many of you know, the story didn't end as hoped. By April 1991, the YF-23 lost out to the YF-22 in the Advanced Tactical Fighter at TF competition, a decision that ended its journey. The YF-22 evolved into the iconic F-22 Raptor, one of Lockheed Martin's crowning achievements in fifth-generation fighters. But why does the YF-23 still ignite such debate? What was it about this aircraft that makes it a subject of ongoing discussion? Let's break it down. The YF-23 was developed by Northrop Grumman with two prototypes, one powered by Pratt Whitney's F-119 engine and the other by General Electric's YF-120 engine. The Pratt Whitney version, known as the Black Widow III, and the YF-120 variant, called Grey Goose, showcased groundbreaking features. Despite its impressive capabilities like achieving a speed of 1,700 kmh without afterburners, the YF-23 was overshadowed by the YF-22. The debate over why the YF-23 YF was passed over is more intense than even the discussions surrounding the Joint Strike Fighter JSF competition won by the F-35. Do you think the decision to favor the YF-22 over the YF-23 was justified? One of the most compelling aspects of the YF-23 was its bold design. With its cut-off nose and unique V-shaped wings, it was engineered for superior stealth. Its radar cross-section RCS was meticulously minimized, a design feature that was ahead of its time. Does the sleek and futuristic design of the YF-23 make it more appealing compared to the more traditional YF-22? The YF-23's design elements, like the hexagonal nacelles and smooth contours, are reminiscent of stealth technologies seen in the B-2 Spirit and B-21 Raider. Was the YF-23 too radical in its approach, or was it simply ahead of its time? Its lack of hydraulic vector control was another point of contention. The aircraft's reliance on advanced aerodynamic design rather than complex hydraulic systems was a bold move. Looking back, the YF-23's design aimed to reduce weight and maintenance costs, a philosophy that resonates with the modern F-35. With its advanced digital control systems and fiber-optic data transmission, the YF-23 was a technological marvel. The aircraft's internal systems, like its multifunction barometer and passive sensors, hinted at the network-centric warfare strategies of the future. Despite its official end, the YF-23's legacy endures. Japan, the UK and Italy are incorporating elements of the YF-23 into their sixth-generation fighter programs. Do you think the innovative ideas of the YF-23 will influence the next generation of fighters? The American sixth-generation fighter projects, like NGAD and FAX, might also draw from the YF-23's design. In conclusion, the YF-23 may have been retired, but its influence is far from over. As we look towards the future of aviation, the ideas behind the YF-23 are making a comeback. What's your take on this? Will the YF-23's legacy continue to shape the skies of tomorrow? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the YF-23, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.